Hello again, everyone. Just a quick update on Nova. So I've been working on her new head assembly. Um, I think at this point we can call the new board that is going to control her head her brains and the existing board her heart, let's say. Uh, as you can see also, I've managed to print her new top. It's just sitting on there for now, so that's going to be pretty cool. We're going to get to see how better she moves being elongated 50 millimeters and I've gone ahead and, and wired up this new brains board so in my previous video I showed that I am connecting a nano to control all of the head components the OLED the RGBs and the two ultrasonic sensors so I went ahead and uh, just soldered up a quick board with terminals to connect all that so I can connect and disconnect it easy and easily enough excuse me and same with the Arduino uh, normally I don't use pin headers but in this case I've got a I'm still in development programming this one and all that so it's easy to pop it out program it pop it back in um, while I was doing the board too I also decided to throw on a trim pot which controls the brightness of the RGBs um, we can still control them in software as well so you know it gives a little more flexibility but I figured for battery life it would be cool to add that. And then I also added a push button which can enable disable the OLED for the same reason, pretty much, to save battery if you want to. Um, so yeah, that's all wired in. I initially did have uh, some issue getting its power right. Um, I, I've reviewed this in previous videos, but I have a 5 volt um, power distribution block, let's call it, right here which can uh, feeds power to all of the components that take 5 volts. So I tried tapping off that, but running a whole other Arduino off of it, and then having that Arduino try, try and power all of the components in the head just, just wasn't cutting it. So I just popped on a small regulator, which has become quite a favorite of mine in, in projects. Um, I'll link to it in the description, and it's also in the um, parts list, or will be in the parts list once I update <coughs> these code in the new wiring diagrams um, but yeah it's just a little tiny regulator buck boost converter has a, a, quite a bit of range of voltage conversion for such a small board but I honestly I don't think I would push it to as high as it says it would probably get really hot but going from so now instead of tapping off of my 5 volt um, terminal board I'm coming from the 6.8 line that goes to the motors also so I'm just tapping off of that now and, and feeding into this buck converter just to, again, stabilize 5, I think I'm passing it 5.8 volts into the Arduino, this Nano. And then, obviously, that Nano feeds the OLED and RGBs, etc. So it's working out good so far. Now that I've added this buck boost converter and um, tapped off of the 6.8 volt line. So, yeah, and the... Ultrasonic sensors are working great and all that, so it's going to be fun stuff. Um, let me go ahead and reboot this. <clears throat> oh, and yeah, that's another thing. is Because we're reusing two serial connected Arduinos, if I reboot the main board, those, the other board has no awareness of that. So I actually had to wire in the reset button on this nano here on the brains to pin four I think I used and then in software I can now reboot it so whenever the main board is rebooting I trigger this board to boot so that they stay in sync so that should have worked so let's see here if I just try and pull up there we go so there's the ultrasonic sensors reporting so in my little serial terminal that I can type commands, you can't see that right now, but I've, I've set it up to run some tests so that I can type, um, test various patterns, LED patterns, and then test the OLED itself, which I can show you right here. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty cool. So I'm happy with it. So I am going to... Oh, and then finally, yes, since I've showed this in another video too adding this extra shoulder piece to extend the body gave me this wonderful cavity in here i guess that's hard to see on video but you could see all this empty space in here 
So this new board, luckily, is perfectly wide enough to slip right in here perfectly. I won't be able to do it with the wires on it, so I'll have to then attach the wires through the top here, but that's why I went with terminals on the board to make it nice and easy to replace, remove, service, all that fun stuff. So once I get that installed and button her up and put her new shell all together and on, I'm going back to software programming and getting her to finally get a stable walking gait, if not inverse kinematics. Okay, everybody, thank you again for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.